What's going on, everyone? Today I got some loadouts for the new dungeon coming out for episode two. Since we don't have the seasonal artifacts going on, these are kind of just kind of going off what we have today in this season or this episode, but not thinking of the artifacts that we're having. So um, I'm not really going to sit down and explain everything exactly to the point because that'll be like an hour long video and i know a lot of people just kind of want to digest or like okay what are people kind of running or get an idea of like what people are running so i got warlock hunter and titan for you and we're gonna start off with warlock because that's what i'm gonna be starting off with so starting off this is my movement or starting in the dungeon loadout so what I mean by this, so I'll be running a Starfire Protocol with Heat Rises. So again, with the Heat Rises, and you get two grenades with Phoenix Protocol. So two Fusion Aids, two Heat Rises, meaning that I can get to point A to point B very smoothly if I need to go up vertically or I need to traverse an area faster uh, horizontally. That's also why I have Well of Radiance, so then I can skate in those certain areas now skating is not ideal for um a day one in just in general but like if you see an opportunity definitely do it my team kind of likes those ideas to progress the dungeon even faster because we like trying to place high i think we got place 50 in the warlord's ruin uh contest we're not contest uh master because we went straight into master right away so we're kind of keeping up in times on um, the normals so i think we're in top 50 so um that being said this is our movement this is our what i'll be loading into i have martyrs to kind of clear out ads but i don't want that i could use sunshot or i could use a Icolos for clearing out majors or i can use my glaive um i know it's not here because it's very very just congested here in my energy slide but if i had my rocket pistol say i don't need my trace rifle for picking up ammo i can use my rocket pistol to clear out ads which i might do that but keep that in mind it the rocket pistol is used on a different character but yes i would say definitely if you don't think you're going to be using a trace rifle for shoot to loot because i have kvostov uh for shoot to loot but if you're not going to be using uh a shoot to loot trace definitely swap that for a rocket pistol so this is my movement this is my uh going in going straight in to the dungeon um so uh since it's gonna be contests they might give us an ad clear uh portion so kind of like and goes to the deep we had an ad clear portion where we go hunt down the uh, ghosts and shatter them so then we can dunk the essence there this is my solar um uh, my my solar build that i have going on for ad clear um Best to explain is I'll be using Well of Radiance with a Lava Drip um, Sunbracers. This is pretty much having two supers at once. So what I mean with that is that uh, Song of Flame kind of has that incredible ad clear portion. So we're using the Sunbracers to kind of be a diet version of Song of Flame while also having a Well of Radiance kind of slap somewhere so it can be a glorified well for my teammates using commemoration to have the uptime on abilities, having a slaw signal for that ad clear slash it's going to shoot down a major to maybe even a boss. Um, commemoration is there to also do the exact same thing, but more of clearing out ads and chipping down majors to boss like enemies. And Sunshot is there for legit just being Sunshot. Sunshot is, it can't be outclassed at this point. I get it that it doesn't have incandescent or any way of doing scorch shots but sunshine is just it's, it's just strong so say i don't want to be on this loadout but i want to be on a prismatic loadout maybe maybe prismatic is a little bit more um needed or i i like prismatic more or what i'm feeling this is going to be a getaway artist build using song of flame so maybe we have a portion where we actually be moving and add clear and we actually need a super for movement or whatever this is what's going to happen. We have getaway artists using the healing aid as our lowest grenade to consume so we can have an arc buddy with our Helion. Um, and then again, same weapons as usual. So that is our ad clear for prismatic. So if you like prismatic, this is what I would suggest for ad clear. And if you are just going to be straight up solar, sun bracers, sun bracers is just always strong. So moving on to the DPS portions, this is what these four loadouts are. So we're going to start off with the linear portion here. Now um, I'm using speaker sight to uh, provide 
uh, healing, healing turrets and everything, because I'm on Prismatic. I'm going to be popping down a bunch of healing turrets, and also I'll be using the uh, healing support auto rifle to supply more healing and also a 10% buff to my teammates. I know it doesn't say here, but actually it does give a 10% bump for uh, your teammates' uh, weapons damage. So um, say we're using linears or say we are going to be using uh, Whisper of the Worm. Perfect. As you can see that, you know, say I want to give my teammates some damage increase and now boom, we're into Whisper of the, uh, Whisper of the Worm DPS. I'll just swap my surges to solar so then I can benefit Whisper of the Worm more. And what's also really cool is that since I'm on Song of Flame, Song of Flame provides um, Scorch stacks for Kinetic and Soul Weapons. Now, my Whisper will be doing extra damage. Now, I get it that um, I was on a Linear that is not Solar. Why is that? So, uh, this Linear is actually the best Linear in the game right now. You don't have to have Weewoo. You can actually have Auto Loading. So, you can kind of do the um, the swaps of Izanagi, or you can do other swaps. But I like the Weewoo uh, Bait and Switch because, again, it's a three burst. We have a Bait and Switch three burst. And Bane Switch is just the highest uh, damaging perk we have right now. So unless surrounded, but that's a different can of worms and we're not going to get into that. So that is my Speaker Sight uh, DPS. Uh, obviously, I don't think we're going to be needing Speaker Sight, but if it's needed, it's needed. Moving on, we have Sword DPS. And why do I have uh, Dawn Course and I have a, about it at the return? So to reiterate, we have Song of Flame. Song of Flame will be our go-to uh, just damage uh, mobile super, so we're not sitting in a well. We can take punches more, and also Rift, because Rift's just stronger than a well, apparently, at this point. Uh, then, also, as you, again, we get our, our solo weapons that get Scorch. So, with Don Chorus, it improves our Scorch. So now, what's going on here, the idea is that I prop some transcendence I plop down my void or whatever my I plop down my void or I pop some sins and I pop down my grenade. Hit him with a uh, arcane needle, so now they're debuffed. And then I pop my super, and now I have transcendence, which is five percent. Then I have a extra percentage of scorch. Then I have my song of flame popped. Now my ergo sum and my abide of the turn is going to be doing max damage as that it could possibly do. Though I do not have three surges on. Also because I feel like in a contest mode, we might actually need to have a scavengers on just in case to squeeze out. It's best to have survivability over DPS because once you realize how many phases you need, you can, you know, do as you need. So never try to wipe. Always try to like survive is the idea. Unless you need a wipe to see what the mechanics are. So, but that is pretty much what I'll be using for sword DPS is an Ergo Sum. Um, if you're not the designated Wolfpack round user, I would say try to have a perfect fifth um, Ergo Sum because perfect fifth is just really strong. And then by the return is just double dipping into the solar that I have. Moving on to the next one, we have a grenade launcher still hunt rotation still on prismatic. So again, what's going on here is that I'm still on Song of Flame. So now my grenade launcher is going to have scorch stacks and my still hunt's going to have uh, scorch stacks. You can actually swap out if any aspects for our um, necrotic grips for that extra tick damage, though I believe that certain tick damages actually are uh, can't stack applicably. So actually, it's probably best to not do that, but um, I'll have to further test that. But why am I running uh, Marceline C and not an or, uh, not a as transit or Windigo or the trials grenade launcher? Well, the, again, is I'm getting free scorch stacks for just having a solar weapon. And um, I would say this is the second best you can have for this grenade launcher. Though I would say Cascade Point would be preferable on this. You get it, no enhance and everything, but having Vorpal, having a free 10% uh, increase against your targets is not too bad uh, on just the contour. So um, this is my DPS setup. So pretty much what it'd be is I pop three, uh, three still hunts. And then I'll dump my Marceline C and then go back to Still Hunt DPS. Um, during that rotation, I might also go back to my grenade launcher if need be, but that is the rotation. Uh, and then also we have rockets. Now, uh, rockets is kind of a two-parter. See here, um, as you can see, I actually have Rain of Fire. So what's going on here? 
So when starting off with, I actually, I'm going ad clear mode, just getting ad clear. My apex is the bait switch. So we're ad clearing, ad clearing. We're actually on a proper solar. We have Icarus dash, lava drip, all that. And then we're gonna go to DPS. So why are we running rain of fire? And why, are we, why does it matter? Because uh, with Song of Flame, you actually get two Icarus dashes. So what is the rotation here? You'll be using a still hunt. So you'll pop your three shots of still hunt, pop them with whatever uh, primary orc uh, special weapon you have. Then you'll shoot your two shots of apex, you'll a Icarus dash, shoot another shot, Icarus dash, shoot another shot, and continue to go back and continue to go back with your still hunt DPS. This is kind of like the maximum you can do for that. And, and say maybe you are the Galahorn bitch for this. So what would you do for being a galley bitch at this point? I know this is like, oh, where is the bitch that's going to be galley bitch? So what we will do is we're going to be using Galahorn with the hesitations. And then we're going to be using Supremacy. Now, no Reign of Fire, actually. So that's we're going to swap back here to the uh, speaker site loadout. And then we're going to be using a our kind of like kind of a support build to give more for our team. And then you'll swap the surge to solar or solar, uh, two solar, one kinetic or one solar, uh, two kinetic, whatever. So then you can perceive to do uh, DPS while helping out uh, your other uh, rockets. So those are my loadouts for Warlock. Um, if you're wondering what I'm using for solar, uh, these fragments do not change amongst all my solars, so they're using my fragments. Um, if you're running for my prismatic, these are my prismatic uh, fragments that do not change. Um, if you're using speaker site or getaway artists, uh, use healing aid. If you're using something else, I would highly suggest Vortex. This is just a very strong setup. So there is that, and I'll now get into the hunter portion. All right, so this is the hunter, and this is what I'll be using when walking into um, the dungeon. Say, if I need to be a hunter, not a warlock, this is what I'll be using to go into the dungeon. So again, uh, we're going to be using mountaintop to get to point A to point B in higher areas. Stompies for that increased height. Um, mobility, your your choice. I don't really, I, I kind of stick around 60 to maybe 70. Um, 100 mobility is whatever, but I like that resilience because uh, us hunters just don't have that much resilience. Um, again, we're going to be using um, the rocket pistol for ad clear, or you can use whatever of your own, like martyrs. And then I'll be using the slammer because I have multiple eager edge swords, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. Now, say again, we have an ad clear portion. This is going to be my ad clear loadout. Again, we have. Uh, we have the commemoration, we have martyrs, and we have midnight coup. And for our exotic, we're going to be gifted uh, convictation. I think I said that completely wrong, but we're going to be on prismatic hunter, and we're going to be using golden gun. Or if we need to, we can swap to deadfall. Kind of depends on what's going on in the scenario. If it's heavy ad clear, deadfall. If there's mostly majors, so we're using marksman. We'll be using ascension because that's what this chest piece kind of improves because you get free resilience for the multiple things you hit with your ascension and gunpowder gamble to clear out ads. Snare bomb there to also kind of weaken, get that free 15% damage on any group of targets or just on a major target and gravel punch because gravel punch is stupidly strong. The other fragments that I'll be using for mostly my prismatic, uh, mostly all of this is prismatic. There is no single just off prismatic type other than the movement. Oh, also, uh, back onto the movement, actually. Uh, say I can't shatter skate anywhere, but it's more vertical momentum, then that's when we use Thread Runner with the double grapple. That's the only exception. Only exception. So, now we're going for DPS. And now I have two different DPS setups. I, I do have to update my second one, but this is like the traditional one. So, again, we have Celestial and we have the same fragment setup. We'll be using this chest piece to add clear. And as you see, we have still hunt apex. You can kind of get the idea of what we're using for DPS. Boom, you get it, celestial. So if you don't know the celestial uh, rotation, it's pretty much you pop transcendence, you pop transcendence, you'll pop your still hunt, pop your celestial, choose celestial, shoot your still hunt, and then continue doing DPS on forward. 
I get that's kind of easy said and done, but some people kind of get choked up. And if you don't have transcendence somehow, don't worry about it. At least you have Celestial and you have Seal Hunt doing DPS. That's pretty much the rotation. You pop your Seal Hunt, go under Seal Hunt DPS. You'll show in, you'll throw in rockets for kind of more of the uh, intermediate type deal, like kind of like fill in this, uh, the gap there. And that's pretty much it. Now for Apex, I like to have Explosive Light. If you want to be more on the safe side, I would say Frenzy or Vorpal. They did fix the Vorpal bug to where if you threw away, if you swap weapons, Vorpal wasn't doing damage. Now that is fixed. So if you wanted to go on that safe route, you could use Vorpal. All right. So what if I need to be more of a support? Um, I'm all, don't worry about the hand cannon choice. I like to use Meta Coop. That was just, that was just fill up. All right. So, um, same, same setup, but we'll be using Deadfall and when we swap, we'll be swapping to a class item. Now, this is the wrong class item. I actually want to have Dragon Shadow uh, 7 Coyote. So the reason why is that is because, again, we'll be doing the same rotation, pop our Still Hunt 3 shot, and then we'll be actually doing rocket dumps for our Apex Pred. And then once we're doing rocket dumps, we'll then go back to our Still Hunt and then back to, and then, you know, wash and repeat pretty much. And that's pretty much the support uh, build that I have going in here. But what if we have a sortable boss? So now, again, still on Prismatic Hunter is is that strong. We will then again use this chest piece and or be using Celestial. Now, if the boss is not celestiable, you then use Deadfall or each their own, depending on what your teammates are gonna be running. In Ergo Sun, we will pack rounds and gold tusk because the highest DPS that a hunter can have for a sword. Again, has Whirlwind Blade because uh, Whirlwind Blade uh, does a 30% damage increase and it's just really strong just in general. So yeah, that is the sword DPS. So again, if it's Celestial, we'll then pop to our Celestial Nighthawk and it will pop whatever we need to pop in the head and continue on to our DPS. And so that is the Hunter portion. Hunter is a very diet, like I'm not using that much weapons. And if it does call for it, I might use my Hunter, but at this point, Hunter is super diet now we're gonna move on to the Titan. all right so we are now on the titan and for titan it's very diet very very diet so starting off with we're just gonna we're just gonna go into whatever i have for loadouts so this is my dps loadout that i have for titan um i don't have the chest piece that gives extra rockets so the idea for this is actually have that chest piece for doing extra rockets You'll then do your dash on, you know, your prismatic. You'll do your dash. Um, you know, you use your rockets. You'll drop. You'll do a rocket dump. I'm using uh, a bipod Crocs. So, and also I need to enhance it. I'm using a bipod one. You can use explosive pale, uh, explosive pale, uh, explosive, it's explosive light um, version of it. Um, each their own. Um, you don't have to use cloud strike. You can still use the still hunt and apex rotation. I'm just using this because it's what I'm used to. And so. Um, once you have the rocket chest piece proct, you can then swap to a class item for um, your star eaters. Now, I don't have a star eaters one, so at this moment in time, this is what I'll be rocking. It's just an Emos Light Cintos. Um, it'll still work. I mean, uh, you want a, a star eaters for Twilight, uh, Twilight Arsenal because Twilight Arsenal is super just strong with the star eaters so try to um save up strange coins and or go and grind out dual destiny for a exotic class item that has star eaters for your titan but that is pretty much uh for dps it's going to be rocket dps uh same if you're doing grenade launcher you'll be using wendigo for that again this is just a loadout that i i like uh no chest piece you'll be using again a star eaters chest uh class item to do dps um so say we, uh, I wanted to go in as a Titan, fly in. This will be my mostly fly in slash add clear uh, Titan. I might probably want to swap to maybe a Hammerhead or a 20% Delirium just to have a more uptime on stuff. Probably 20% Delirium. This will be my add clear slash just want to punch type deal. Um, again, and this is kind of like the most diet jet thing to have. Um, Obviously, then we have a one-two punch uh, eye close, so it kind of just depends what I'm feeling, what I really want to rock. Um, and then uh, if I just want to do that, I could just do a straight void. Um, this is mostly just a hard and most light void build. 
with just, you know, volatile rounds and just having a huge uptime. I'm using Rastarago for ad clear uh, and also using my Hammerhead for ad clear and Weatherhorde for ad clear. Um, and then same for my arc, it's the same thing. It's a hard and slight arc one for ad clear. Um, and this can be interchangeable for DPS as well. But if I was going to do DPS, this would be my, my, my four DPS loadouts is when to go or using a Crux DPS. Um, for sword, I don't really have a sword one, but again, if you really had to, I'll probably say use your one, two punch one. Um, you probably swap to this and I don't have navigator equipped but you'll put Navigator in this spot and then you'll just be doing Navigator Gravel Punches if there was a sortable melee boss. But yeah, that is all. That's all that I have today for you for loadouts I'll be bringing into the day one dungeon. I hope this was very helpful for anyone and to kind of like slightly understand. Um, I'll be seeing all of you uh, probably during that. I might be streaming during that time or not. Um, make sure to like, sub, and leave a comment i mean if you don't that's fine not gonna hurt my feelings um other than that my name is andrew and it's been a nice time showing you off my loadouts bye bye <laughs>